Let's talk about the process of diaphanizationization. And if you're sensitive to like animal specimens, this is not the video for you and I would recommend not watching. So this is a diaphanized specimen. This one in specific is some species of chameleon. And yes, it is an actual real chameleon and that's its tissue and bones and all of that. These are different from other types of specimens, like ones that are preserved in formaldehyde or taxidermied or pinned, and there's a very kind of lengthy chemical process that is used to produce this result. So first of all, you have to choose the correct specimen. It's very hard to do with large animals, so the most common specimens used are things like reptiles and amphibians, as well as fish as well as some smaller and younger, usually animal specimens, usually fetal or juvenile, not usually full-grown mammals or birds. Additionally, with mammals and birds, they have to be prepared a little bit differently with all of the feathers and fur removed. The next step is then to make all of the soft tissue, so flesh, make it clear. This specimen in particular is a marmoset monkey and you can see quite clearly the kind of clarified flesh bits. And this is done by soaking the specimen for a pretty long time in a specific digestive enzyme called trypsin. That kind of breaks down a lot of the flesh structures and leaves it just with this clearness. Then after all of the flesh is clarified, then the remaining stuff in there is dyed using a bunch of different stains, namely Alcyon blue and Alizarin red to give a very distinct blue or red or purplish color to different tissues. Different dyes stick to different tissues, so depending on what dye is used, that will be the tissue that just kind of shows up. See, the bone is different colored than the flesh, which is different colored than the muscle and tendons and cartilage and all that. Now, in addition to just looking really crazy, there are a lot of practical uses for diaphanized specimens. They're very good at showing a lot of internal structures without having to actually dissect and potentially move around stuff inside the specimen, and it shows everything exactly in place as it would be in a living specimen. It also shows how a bunch of different systems all connect together, such as the muscular system and the skeletal system, showing what muscles and cartilage attach where to be able to move the skeleton. It's also very useful in showing fetal developmental stages, showing what tissues and organs and bones and stuff develop when, and their level of de development at which point in time. So the Clarifying of the flesh and the staining and dyeing of everything else shows very clearly all of the internal structures, which again is very, very important in understanding how stuff works. And as far as I'm aware, this process is pretty good at preserving things too, and a lot of these diaphanized specimens can last a very long time.